Hello, hello everyone, Sohn Grunt here, but of course you already knew that. And welcome to Distance. Yeah, I feel like the title screen pretty much speaks for itself. Now you might ask me, what is Distance? Uh, Distance is an arcade style racing game, it's a time trial racing game. You don't race against opponents, you just race against yourself and technically other people on the leaderboard. And it's all about getting to the finish line the fastest, basically. But it has quite a few unique elements to it. And gameplay that is so smooth that I feel like on its own it's worth a mention. Um, and the main reason that I'm doing this is the first game that I play as my kind of random game, just, you know, random selection game, is because it's one of those games that not many people talk about. I rarely hear anybody, especially within any of my friends' groups, any gaming forums I've been a part of, no one really has mentioned this. Even when they talk about the arcade racing genre no one really talks about this um when you bring it up it rings some bells for some people especially nitronic rush which was its predecessor which was kick-started in 2012 um but then the development team kind of kept developing that game made it you know they had its own little game nitronic rush but then they kept developing it until it was basically a sequel which they called distance uh which went on to steam early access a couple years back and I played it then, and I did all the time trials. I was all about getting the, you know, 100%ing it. I'm that kind of person when it comes to those games, especially back then I was. Um, very into my racing time trial games, and into time trials and anything really, but especially my arcade racing time trial games. Things like Red Out and other games like that, and Wipeout back in the day, loved those types of games. Um, and so in this one, in Nitronic Rush, when I played that, really spoke to me. And I love Nitronic Rush. And so when I heard about Distance, I'm like, yeah, I've got to get into this. And I did. And then, you know, after a while, because it was in early access, didn't have as much content, got through a lot of the time trials and just kind of grew apart from it, if you will. Um, but some of my friends were playing it recently and they said to me, you've got to come back to this. You've got to try it. I mean, it came out of early access last year, September. And it is so different they said it is it is really different i mean from a gameplay perspective it's still like the same kind of core gameplay but just from an overall amount of stuff you can do the level editor the arcade mode the multiplayer modes all of that has been amped up and there's so much to do in it now but i figured i may as well play the campaign which you can see i've already played a part of um and uh, well so there's three chapters in the campaign i'm on the met the first one the adventure part what they call adventure which was their original kind of campaign if you will which they've updated a lot and then they've got lost to echoes nexus and all that um so yeah i'm doing this i was playing through this one i thought to myself yeah this is great I'm, I'm, i want to i want to do this game as the first game i do on this place because i was looking for a game and i was thinking you know what it's got to be this one um because it's just one that not a lot of people talk about and if anybody does watch this video i'd love to be able to recommend them this game so yeah let's just dive into it um it's got a really eerie opening <laughs> um it really gives me some dead space kind of vibes when i opened this game i was like what is going on here um god it still creeps me out it's such a creepy opening to a to a racing game applying new mutation um, it's so eerie so pleasant <laughs> very pleasant ah three minutes 56 remain you know there you go that's all right you can just skip ahead three minutes and you know it'll all be over <laughs> My world would have come to a cataclysmic end. Oh my god. Ready? Oh, I loved that opening. I loved that opening. Um, I played this yesterday, which is when I was kind of choosing games to play for this series. And th oh, that opening just made me go, oh my god, it's going to be this game, isn't it? Here we go. So for what I can gather, the story is kind of, there's a corruption, if you will, in kind of the Matrix. And our car, which is like an AI, um, has to go and basically correct it. And it has this long to do so, basically. It's been like awoken as like a last call to try and stop Cataclysm. Alright, here we go. 
Now this game is all about um, maintaining your boost, uh, watching overheating on your boost, and basically, like I said, getting from one end to the other in the quickest time possible. Um, but the gameplay is so smooth. I cannot tell... I mean, I'm running this on its highest graphical settings. As you can tell, which it's got quite a basic graphical style, but it works so well for the type of game it is because, I mean, I get... You know, I'm getting easily over 200 frames per second the entire time. And it just makes for the smoothest gameplay. Hello? So yeah, that's kind of a part of the story is this idea. I think it's like we are what came after Earth, basically, is what we're on. And whatever is causing all this corruption is trying to bring us back to Earth, I think, which is not good because Earth should be left behind. That's what I've gathered so far from playing the the cafe. As you can see there, it has that warning light when I get dangerously close to overheating, but then these checkpoints, they cool you down. So it's all about, you can hold that boost and get to the next checkpoint, but do you want to risk it? Um, so basically, making a mistake is very bad, as it always is in time trials type games, but you need to be on edge all the time. Because I can let go of boost and never have to worry about overheating, but I mean, it would take me forever to get anywhere. So you've got to be you know, taking playing it on the edge always to get to the end, which always is as a level of kind of urgency to what you're doing, which I think makes again for a very exciting experience. Um, and I feel like this playing Nitronic Rush, I mean anybody who's played Nitronic Rush will know that it looks extremely similar and except for graphically more cleaner and um, you know has the same elements to it. But it's just so much content in this for you to play that it's so worth getting. Um, and pretty much that's my sales pitch on it. I mean, you know, <laughs> it doesn't matter how much more we play the game. That's my sales pitch. But really, I'm just playing it to show you guys really what I'm talking about. And these first couple levels, they're very simple. You know, and they're kind of just showing off the world. Like, that's crazy. I just, I just remember playing this game when it came out in early access and loving it. But it just had none of this. Like, none of this, like, world building and the scenery that it has. Like, like looking at Earth down there and all that, like... Even in its kind of like simple graphics form, which works so well for the art style, it looks so gorgeous. Um, and I think it just, the smooth frame rate of it all really helps with just the overall very futuristic feeling of it. Like how smooth and soft and just, just well everything works. And it works really well into the hands of the kind of progression through the levels as things get less clean and more dirty. Um, it's very nice. Um, so far as that, that was a, that was a level right there. You know, that was that level done, and it was just going straight forward on the ground most of the time. A couple of drops here and there, but you'll see what I'm talking about when we get more into it. Um, yeah, there we go. Division. Um, it's it's a game that I, I highly highly recommend. And honestly, even if you don't like arcade races, don't like time trial type of games, I would say just give this game a try like if it's got a free weekend or if it's on sale or anything just just give it a try. i don't even think it's that much to begin with and honestly it's such a fun game with so much content that if you love this type of game you are going to love this um i just don't see how you can um one of the games that r racing games that i'm playing right now or i say playing i, I kind of uh, have played and have put it down for a while now but it was red out and I was just thinking to myself while I was playing that game, I'm so happy this exists because, you know, back in the days of Wipeout, I mean, Wipeout was quite different, but back in the days of Wipeout, you know, it was that game that I came to for my racing kind of, oh, I just feel like I want that adrenaline rush of going really fast and, you know, just being in tight control of the vehicle. And, you know, it's just a feeling that you kind of get when you're playing these games. And if it's a good feeling, you want to keep racing, you want to keep playing. And, you know, Wipeout gave me that feeling back in the day. Red Out gave me that feeling, and then this game definitely gave me that feeling, and Nitronic Rush did. This is what I'm talking about with the corruption. I, I was so creeped out the first time, I was like, um, hello? Big, giant, evil, corrupted heart, hello? Um, yeah, I have no idea what's going to happen with that, but it kept spooking the hell out of me. You'll see what I mean. Ooh. Um, but, yeah, and, you know, this game just has so much content to it, and I kind of story that's not the story you normally get in a racing game you know because it's actually your objective isn't you have to beat other people because you need to be the best your objective is get here because you know the world's coming to an end basically like you're trying to save the world 
Um, but it's just, it's just you in kind of what looks like an abandoned utopia, you know? Um, and it just feels, there's something so, I don't know, just so fun about the game. Um, and so fun about the gameplay and just how smooth it is. I know I keep saying that, but it's just a point I really have to iterate, I feel, just because of just how amazing it makes the game feel to play and how worthwhile it makes your time playing it. But yeah, I've always been a fan of racing games. It's just one of those things where this game kind of fell into the limelight for me. I just kind of almost forgot about it. And I feel like that's what a lot of gamers did, you know, in a weird way. I mean, obviously not the people who work on the workshop and there's still game still has a big community. Uh, well, I say big community. It still has a strong, you know, community of people who make levels for it and, hello, and play it. That was terrible. And play it. Um, but it's just one of those things where I've got to show it some love. And even if one more person uh, looks at the game's page on Steam because of this video, I'd be happy. You know, it's one of those things where this game deserves the love that it gets kind of thing. Um, it's just so fun. And it's, it still is. Uh, one of my favorite things about this game, which will come up, is just the kind of destruction on your car is so nice. And you'll see what I'm talking about when it happens. It, it's one of those things that when it happened, I was there like, there's no other game that does this this well. And there still isn't, in my opinion. The, 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 oof, that was close. Uh, there's no other game that does that feeling, the, the kind of way that this game destroys your car when it does. Um, does it so smoothly and so kind of gratifyingly in a way that you kind of almost want to cut yourself in half. Like, like this. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> like that. You want to do this to yourself just to be like, what is happening right now? I'm in half. Um, but you see what I mean. Um, <laughs> it's it's pretty amazing. Um, I just realized when I said cut yourself. I'm like, no, 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 not do that one. No, please no. Uh, don't do that, kids. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely a fantastic game to play. Um, and I've, all, I've just, it's always been one of those things where Racing games to me have always been a love of mine, but it's just odd because racing games almost feel like are a genre that are very much associated with either people who are super into like kind of simulator ones, the kind of ultimate time trial attack diehards, and then otherwise it's like, oh, you know, kids play them. And I just feel like it's, it's, it's just so incorrect. I feel like a lot of these games can be great for the casual just want to chillax and play a game for a bit gamer you know i mean i wouldn't consider myself a die hard time attack fan i mean i do like my time attacks but it's just one of those things where this game is just so kind of weirdly unique in its style and the way that you race and how smooth it really feels and the kind of stuff that goes on while you race that i just think it's really worth picking up and playing as a game that not many people know about and i think when there's a big down period of games you know, especially as we're kind of right now in January. I just think it's one of those games that's totally worth picking up and just playing to, you know, enjoy yourself and... Oh, jeez, I almost got hit by those lasers. That was close. Uh, just enjoy yourself and relax, basically. Because I don't really feel under stress that much when I'm playing this game. I know it looks super quick, but it's just, it's not very stressful to play because of how smooth it is. Oh, here we go. And you can fly. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those games that if you kind of enjoy just the kind of speed you'll love it because this game's sense of speed is immense and especially uh in the later levels and in the community made levels for sure oh gosh i tried a couple of those and wow do people make some good levels in this game um but yeah i mean that's pretty much my recommendation so yeah Otherwise, while we're playing this game, I figured I might um, use this series and also use, you know, just the kind of time that the series might give me to talk a little bit about what my plans are, you know, in the future and any little things that are coming up. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was, uh, with this series, was to use it to basically just chat um, about stuff that I plan to do with this series and the next things that are coming up in the week and things that I plan on doing in the future. So one of those things that I plan on doing is, uh, as I mean, it probably won't be next weekend by the time I release this video, uh, but the Anthem just public demo is happening on the 1st of February. 
and that's one of the games that I kind of really want to try out because the loot shooter genre has always been a big one for me and I've always kind of badly wanted to try out Ooh, Jesus I've always quite badly wanted to try out um, Anthem after seeing it being announced oh my gosh well the teleportation sequence to Earth initiated opening in Six, five, zero, seven, eight, two. Yeah, so you can see what I'm talking about with how creepy that is. Um, oh my gosh. Right, let's fly and landing here. There we go. Lovely and smooth. But yeah, it's one of those anthem I definitely want to try it out uh, on the weekend because. You know, as much as um, Mass Effect Andromeda was a huge letdown, but it was made by a different team in Bioware. So I can't, you know, you can't really hold that against anybody. You can't really hold... I mean, you can hold Mass Effect Andromeda against some people, but, you know, the team surely tried their best. I would assume nothing less of them. Uh, time restraints and just overall skill level can affect things, and it clearly did in that case. Um, but yeah, that, that was a letdown, but I am looking forward to see what... Bioware, the company that brought us Dragon Age and Mass Effect originally, um, are going to do with the kind of looter shooter genre. Because I've seen the gameplay from the VIP weekend and I've seen the gameplay from other events, and it seems, you know, like the gameplay is really fun. What seems to be lacking is the story and uh, other things like that, but then again, they're kind of just showing, they want to show off the gameplay in these events, really, not so much the story. So, I'm going to reserve judgement, but I am looking forward to trying it out for myself anyway. It's, I am looking forward to playing the game as well, just overall, from a gameplay perspective, well, that was really close. From a gameplay perspective, I'm looking forward to playing it, because the gameplay does look incredibly fun, and it looks like something I will quite enjoy, as I enjoy Destiny, and I enjoy Borderlands, and enjoy The Division. Um, you know, played all those games to death. Destiny 2, not so much, but I still did play through the main campaign. Um, but, yeah, I mean, my only issue with Anthem, I think in my own mind, that it's kind of an issue not to do with the game itself, uh, and also not to do with its publisher, but we won't talk about EA, um, is the loot genre is kind of falling a little stagnant for me, you know? I'm not saying it is for everyone, but for me, um, I love the genre, but I've just played so much of it in recent years with all the games that have come out around it that it's just starting to get a bit like, yeah, the formula I'm getting, you know, everyone's getting pretty used to it, I feel, not just me, I don't think it's just my opinion. So if Anthem was to do something, I think that was not my fault. <laughs> that was a little, I think I got there quicker than the uh, thing the ramp wanted to spawn in, that was a little unfortunate. Um, oops. Uh, but yeah, the... I think that it has to kind of pull something really out of the bag, really. And the gameplay looks unique in the sense that it looks... The mobility in it, like basically being Iron Man, is kind of a pretty cool selling point in itself. Uh, but I hope that the rest of the game holds up to just the movement system and the look, you know? Because graphics and movement system are great, but the game's going to need to live up to other things. Yeah. And anyway, I mean... To be fair, I feel like I've said pretty much everything I can about this game. You know, like, about uh, about Distance. I mean, if you're not sold from what you've seen already, um, then you probably won't be overall sold. Um, it's just one of those games that's about just... But I, there's a lot more to it than, obviously, what I've shown so far. There's more mechanics that are going to come into play, which I'll show you. Um, but... I feel like, you know, if you're not sitting there thinking, oh, this could be interesting, but you're just sitting there thinking, nah, not at all, then yeah, pro probably isn't for you. But I still uh, think it's a very entertaining game to to play. And so if it is the type of thing that you're looking at and thinking, I... Hello? <laughs> Earth is behind us. Remember, learn, go beyond. The path ahead gives us purpose. <laughs> it's 
So, um, there you go, as an example of what I mean about the story mode in this game. Um, but yeah, the overall, I would say that if you're sitting there thinking, oh, this, this looks intriguing, I could be into this, trust me, it's worthwhile getting. Um, it's just got an unbelievable wealth of content and things for you to do. And it's just so fun to play. Like, the jumping and, like, just transforming into the flying, coming back down, and just the overall steering controls, just the way the momentum feels, and the way they present the world is so unique that it's it's just worth playing for the experience of experiencing something so... just so different from the things that you'd usually play when it comes to racing games, or expect when it comes to arcade racing games. I mean, for the most part, they're really happy, jumpy games that pull you in with a tight beat and really quick ridiculous looking tracks whereas this one it's like you 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 know you're driving down desolate highways and in the beginning yeah, it's got a funky beat it's got some you know nice little utopian city but as you can see it gets quiet it gets desolate and it becomes about just more you and the vehicle just waiting to see oh my god what's gonna try and trip me next um, and of course the user made levels are all over the place they can be anywhere from funky see stuff like that is just what has just happened see at this point it just turns into a horror game like, I'm just terrified I'm, like, what? What? But, uh, <laughs> I'm just like what? You know, I'm, I'm waiting for something so to sneak up on me I mean, oh my gosh oh Jesus oh my god Oh my god, look at... Oh my god, I remember playing this bit yesterday. It's like blood on the walls, like, what is that? It's terrifying! Oh my god. Oh my god. You just think, like, what happened here? Oh, no one likes red things. Oh, I don't like red flat, no, no. Wait, I mean, that's my car. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, I didn't notice that was my car last time I played. I think I was just too freaked out with it. Oh, oh hello. I remember you. No entry? Yes, yeah, fine. I'll turn around. Don't worry about it! Oh, my. Oh, wrong way. Oh, yeah. <sighs> oh my god, see that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. I mean, what other game gives you an experience like that? You know, in terms of a racing game. I mean, it's so weird. And it just, the visual representation just throws you for a loop. It's, it's crazy. Um, and I love it. Like, that's the kind of stuff I love. Um, when I was playing it yesterday, it was that scene, along with a couple others, as long as just smooth gameplay, maybe go, I've really got a... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's pretty bad. Um, <laughs> watch out for gaps. <laughs> just just come on, you can do this. Um, but yeah, it was just that kind of stuff that maybe go, I've, I really want to show this. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to play much more of it but uh, on the video, but if you guys want to see like a playthrough of this, or you want to see more gameplay of it, or just want to check it out for yourselves, just do so. You know, let me know about if you want to see me play more, but otherwise, check it out for yourself. You'd be doing yourself a huge favor, and you would I reckon you'll really enjoy the time you have with it, because it's just such a fun game to kind of play, and it's so unique, and just so odd. The, just the experience you'll have from playing it alone, even without the racing part of it and the speed part of it, um, I think it's worth what the kind of asking price that they ask for for this game. Especially with just the sheer amount of content you get. You'll never run out of maps to play. Um, oh, here we go. This is the part I wanted to show you guys before uh, I left you where this was the main idea of Nitronic Rush and in distance they've also done it so well which is this idea that you jump from kind of one angle and then rotate yourself I completely missed that um, you kind of jump from one angle and then 
move yourself you angle yourself onto another like like a wall or to a ceiling kind of piece of road and that was one of the main draws for me from Electronic Rush that felt so good in the gameplay and they have nailed it here um, like just that feeling again of just quickly switching feels so good and it just makes you feel just like like the best driver there ever was um, why do I keep I keep pressing X and just keep for some reason I keep pressing it too late oh god that was that was awful uh, hello yes that was terrible that was me messing around with the controls hang on yeah I keep just pressing it too late there we go but it is so satisfying to play and um, it definitely is going to be one of those games that will get really hard it's going to start to get really hard to play while talking um, but yeah it's super satisfying definitely give it a try at the end of this level I reckon we'll leave off and let you guys uh, experience either the rest of yourselves or if you guys want me to play it I will definitely do that because oh my gosh do I want to number one see what kind of goes on with the story but also just check out more of the levels in this and to see what more content this game has to offer in terms of the types of tracks it can present oh yeah but no um, but if you are on the channel, thank you so much for checking me out. Um, I'm new to all this, and it's definitely something that I want to continue. Um, I don't know what kind of game with the drive to eventually do this. I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to make a YouTube channel, create you know commentary over video games I like, draw attention to things, and just take part in discussion, and you know just basically play the games I love and talk about them uh, but just a lot of things like time restraints and other things on me kind of stop me from doing it but recently I've managed to free up some time and I thought you know what I've got some of the equipment you know let me do it uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm glad that I am because you know we're getting to I, I'm I'm enjoying it but yeah if there's anything that you think that I can improve on if there's anything that you'd like to see in the future and if there's anything that I can do uh, you know, any series ideas that you have or any games that I can play through uh, please let me know and yeah thank you so much for checking it out and thank you so much for checking out Distance and please do the developers of this game a huge huge favour and check them out on the Steam uh, page check out this game and if I can bring one person to look at the uh, Steam page for this game then I will feel accomplished so thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time